So this is how a dog should wait for his or her food. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just setting up their food. Colby's is over there right now because what I'm doing is I'm actually making the coffee. So I've got a routine of where the stuff that I'm doing and this is Daisy this is how she waits for her food there's no craziness MD over here the referee he's um it's, it's crazy he is like the ref between Colby and Daisy when they're, you know, kind of like doing their morning freakouts together. So, I'm gonna get some coffee. This is, uh, yesterday's coffee. Throw it in there for two minutes. It's just enough for one full cup. Add my cream, good to go. So, coffee's all grounded. Grounded. I'm tired. I need my coffee. <laughs> so, but they're, they're just patiently waiting. I mean, how does a... So, she'll be 14 weeks. Um, she's going to be 14 weeks this Monday. So, how does a puppy, you know what I mean, wait like she does? I don't know. Like I've said, everything about this little girl is, like, perfect. Huh. Yeah, little girl. You're a good girl. So, no excitement. You don't, like, amp them all up. And Where's your food? You ready for food? You want to eat? Um, it's just about being calm. Because when you think about it, that's what you want. So, when she's, you know, bigger, the whole point is she's just going to be calm. I mean, look at her. You can ask her. You can say, hey, Daisy, you hungry? You want some food? And then that at least gives her an idea, but... For me, from what I've learned, is dogs, especially ones that are active, they uh, react or hyper react, react to a human's hyper reaction. So, so Indy's gonna get fed. Colby's way over there. Hey, Colby's. Daisy's just chilling. So, let's uh, get their food going.